White House expects President Donald Trump to sign a measure ending the government shutdown by the end of the night. After working all weekend long, Republicans and Democrats reached a deal today to keep the government funded for about another three weeks. Moments ago, the Senate approved the deal. The next step is for the House to give it the green light before it reaches the president's desk. But the battle over what caused the shutdown in the first place just beginning. ABC Action News anchor Paul Legrone with key insight tonight on what today's developments really mean, Paul. Yeah, reading between the lines here, Jameson, what it means is issues like the country's immigration dilemma, including what to do with the immigrant children, so-called DACA, and how to pay for the president's wall, as well as the ongoing debate on spending caps for the U.S. military. All of that and more still hanging over the heads of Congress tonight, which could be right back to the brink of another shutdown in three weeks if they don't start finding common ground soon. Tonight, the tension in Washington still high, even after lawmakers agree to end the shutdown. A group of Republicans and Democrats, including Florida Senator Bill Nelson, calling themselves the Common Sense Caucus, forcing the vote today to reopen the government. The motion is agreed to. And it worked. But now Republicans and Democrats must do what they failed to do so far, reach a compromise on immigration, specifically what to do with thousands of immigrant children who face deportation, the so-called DACA program, and how to pay for the president's border wall. On top of that, the ongoing debate on spending limits for the military. I'm not sure this gets any easier three weeks from now. Former Florida Congressman David Jolly says Congress will be facing another shutdown next month if they don't solve the political Rubik's Cube that is DACA. You still have a, a Congress and a president that are operating in dysfunction right now, five months overdue in an annual budget process with no clear path forward. And if you're a dreamer or you're caught up in the DACA program, you have as much uncertainty today as you have ever had. Today, the White House doubling down, saying comprehensive immigration reform is the only path forward. A big priority for the administration is making sure we don't find ourselves having the same battle in two, three, four, and five years down the road. So we have to have a responsible immigration reform that addresses a number of issues, not just the DACA program. Meaning the countdown to the next showdown has just started. Now, one piece of good news here tonight, CHIP, the Children's Health Insurance Program, has been extended for six years with this deal. But immigration really is at the heart of this ongoing stalemate because you need a 60 vote requirement in the Senate to get anything done, a reform deal. And because of that, and we're in an election year, common sense. And the question is, will common sense be the enemy of political survival?